hello blue prism users in this video we will automate the whatsapp and we will send a text over whatsapp so let's start for using whatsapp on our desktop we need to go to this url this website and after launching this website we will get this qr code now we need to scan this qr code for logging into whatsapp and we can check this keep me sign in checkbox so that it will keep us signed in in the whatsapp and after scanning the qr code we will get this type of interface url remains same you can see all the contacts at the left hand side and there is a search box where we can enter the name of the user and search for let's say just type the name of the user and hit enter see just type the name and press enter so this will open the chat of that user and after opening the chat we have to move here in message box and type the message and press the enter key to send the message so these are the steps which by uh, with the help of which we can send a max text message to a user just launch website of web whatsapp then scan the qr code and login click on search box and type the username and hit enter and click on message box and type the message and hit enter so these two steps are will performed by the port first two steps we will do manually so this is the business object i have already created let me show you we are going to attach to the whatsapp uh, application which is already running in our chrome browser and the title of the window is whatsapp this is the address of chrome and the url of whatsapp now there are only two elements one is search box because first we will type the data in search box our uh, name of the user so i have selected only two attributes one is match index and another one is x path see we are able to highlight this see we are able to highlight match uh, message box element as well close application modeler and go back to object studio i have created two actions one is attach and another one is send message action see first we will attach to the browser window and then we will wait for search box and then we will focus on the search box and click on it see focus and then click and then we will move to the slip stage i am waiting for only one second and then we will write the name in the search box and then hit the enter key and in this start stage we are taking two inputs one is for name of the user and another one is message similarly we are performing same step for the message box focus on the message box and click on message box then write the message and hit enter now we can invoke this action in our process let's create a new process and call this action and we can input the name of the user and message go back to the object studio let me update the message i'm uh, typing a message which contain multiple new lines corrected so after sending each line 
bot will hit the enter by itself and it will send multiple messages and if you want to send only one message then just type only one sentence let's run the process let me move to the whatsapp window my network quality is not good we have given the peter in the username so bot is going to type peter and send message to the peter bot has started typing messages Because of poor network, messages are not delivering. Let me show you the receiver's WhatsApp. See, receiver hasn't received any message yet. Let me check my network connection. See, now messages are delivering. You can see the tick mark. And receivers also start getting messages. fine all the messages are now delivered i have turned off the read receipts that's why blue ticks are not showing this is how we can send messages over whatsapp this is very simple process just we have to spy two elements and apply some actions on those elements but reading of messages is a bit challenging let me show you why let's create a new element for reading messages let me send a message see we got a message here hey now let's try to spy this message we are able to spy this Now let's send one more message. so the properties of uh, attributes of that uh, element or the message will be different for different messages because the length of the message is not gonna same every time sometimes a message can contain only four characters sometimes it's it may contain more than four characters or more than four words letters so the length of the message is not gonna same every time because of which we it will be challenging to read the messages see this message uh, which contain a new line character so with the help of whatsapp api or some another tricks we can automate the message uh, reading of the messages Similarly, we can check the count of the unread messages from left side. Thanks for watching guys. Do comment your doubts and queries if any. Bye-bye.